This segment is sponsored by Country Financial. The new year brings new goals, so how can you create a plan that will help you meet your financial goals? Chelsea Moore, Director of Wealth Management Solutions at Country Financial, is joining us with advice for reaching those goals in the new year and to discuss the benefits of working with a financial advisor. Good morning, Chelsea. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Chelsea, as we head into the holiday season and a new year, how are individuals feeling about their financial security and managing some of their goals that they might have? Americans are feeling pretty good about their financial security. According to our most recent Country Financial Security Index, about 80% of Americans feel good about paying their debts. More than half have been able to take it one step further and contribute additional assets to savings accounts or investment accounts. This has led to the majority of Americans, 59%, feeling pretty good about their financial security. We do know that inflation is certainly weighing in on those confidence, uh, especially now in the holiday season when spending is more frequent and can be higher as well. But looking back over the last year, we have seen good wage in growth. Uh, wage growth, and we are still sitting at pretty low unemployment levels. So when we're thinking about financial goals, what would be some of the advice that you would share about what to prioritize in the new year? The first step in financial goals is writing them down and ensuring that you have an alignment with your household. This means talking to your spouse or your children about those financial goals so everyone is on the same page. From there, we suggest taking those goals and breaking them down into smaller, more micro goals that are easier to accomplish. Some of the foundational goals we would suggest considering is having an emergency fund, having proper insurance protection for your assets, having a debt repayment plan, and utilizing a financial advisor that you know and trust. Chelsea, you talked about using a financial advisor. So for someone who has not been through that process, what does that look like? What are the costs maybe associated to that? Where can an individual begin with this maybe a new idea of working with someone else with their finances? You know, only about a quarter of all Americans utilize a financial advisor. So for those who don't, uh, one thing to consider is fees. Uh, and the fees that advisors can charge are wide ranging and the services that they can charge are wide ranging as well. So if you're looking for a financial advisor, we want you to choose someone who you know and trust that you're asking those important fee questions. How do you charge fees? When do you charge fees and what kinds of fees do you charge? And lastly, making sure that that person offers is the services that you're looking for. So whether you need help with budgeting or retirement, investment planning, legacy planning, or maybe even small business planning, ensuring that your goals are aligned with their services. You mentioned asking some of those right questions. Well, if they don't even know really how to make a list of those questions, what would be your advice for the top question that they should ask a potential financial advisor that they're gonna work with? I think top couple questions I would ask is, what are your fees? How are you compensated? And what services are you providing me? Incredible resources. Chelsea, where can our viewers go to learn more? You can go to countryfinancial.com. Thanks so much for joining us this morning on Hometown Living. We're going to share that website one more time. It's right there on your screen, countryfinancial.com.